Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and some more of the journeyman with Chester. We are starting Season 3 today after yesterday's transfer special. I think it went well, fingers crossed. Uh, and we are going to play our first two matches of the season today against Alfreton Town and Boston United away from home. If you are enjoying the series, do give it a big thumbs up down below. If you are new to the series, this is a wonderful jumping on point. Uh, it's been a great first two seasons of this series. Can we complete a full season with a team? That would be absolutely fabulous if we we could manage that this season it would also be fabulous if we could hit 50 likes for the first video of season three let's get ourselves into the action and hopefully um we will manage to get six points out of six today that's that's what i'm hoping for that's what i'm praying for um before we get into things i do want to sort of recap uh the uh, the, the transfers that we uh, managed to, to bring in over the summer and there were a fair few of them so the first sign of the summer was uh, a bloke called Sam Sanders a 22 year old English centre back um, can also play up top as well funnily enough but um, he, his main role will be at centre back for us um, decent attributes they are going down hopefully we will turn that around at some point has been playing uh, National League football the last couple of years for York City and was a Nottingham Forest youth product. Uh, we also signed um, Davey Aggie, <laughs> as, uh, as we call him, um, David Agon Bottomer, uh, whatever that is, from Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, did all right non-competitively for them last season. He is a 22-year-old English centre-half. Uh, got decent potential, could go all the way to playing in uh, the EFL eventually. Uh, definitely somebody I think that will add uh, a lot of depth to our squad. Uh, we also brought in Bobby Jones uh, back in on loan from Kidderminster Harrier Days. Uh, he is in on loan from Stockport, um, a three star goalkeeper can of course become a four and a half star player eventually did actually play a, a senior match for stockport last season but uh, had great memories of having him at kidderminster two seasons ago and uh, he's come in as our first choice goalkeeper this season uh, on loan between the sticks uh, we then signed kelsey mooney a 25 year old english striker from lemmington um Again, a decent player, got some okay attributes. The main thing attracting me to him, though, was uh, 22 goals from 39 starts last season in a relegated Leamington side. So hopefully with the service in a better playing squad, he's going to thrive this season. So I'm really looking forward to, to using him and hopefully he will uh, score a ton of goals for us. Uh, we also signed TJ Bramble, 23-year-old uh, Anti Antiguan and Barbudan, um, and hopefully he can hit the ground running. He's come in from Oldham um, on a free transfer. Uh, again, he's played regularly in a better side the last couple of seasons. Hopefully he's somebody that can add something to our squad. Uh, we also signed Jordan Hellowell, a uh, 22-year-old English fullback. Can also play in midfield as well. Uh, Three-star ability, four-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, he's come in from Barnsley. Did spend last season out on loan at a Danish club, funnily enough. Uh, we then signed Andre Brooks, a 21-year-old English midfielder who uh, will be playing left-back for us. Uh, is training well at the moment. He played last season at Sheffield United and has actually played some championship football in the past. And uh, most recently, we signed Danilo Ossi, uh, Ossi Dadomo, um, a 28-year-old English striker. He's come in from Grimsby uh, in League One and uh, did play a couple of cup matches for Grimsby over the last few seasons. So, um, you know, I think his level is definitely better than where we are currently at. So, fingers crossed, uh, that is a decent summer of signings i'm very very happy with it and uh, certainly the media are predicting us to do a good job this season they're predicting us to finish fourth in the vanarama national league north we want to keep a close eye on my hometown south shields as well looking forward to seeing them in the vanarama national north 
Um, they've been uh, touted for promotion this season as well. Back-to-back -back promotions would be brilliant for them. But we'll certainly keep our eyes open to see whether any jobs come about uh, and possibly come on offer from uh from them but uh yeah that's going to be very very interesting expectation wise we are uh expected to reach the playoffs as a very much minimum this year so we've got to improve we've got to get off to a good start and uh, hopefully that'll happen today we've also again got that requirement of getting to the first round of the fa cup so it could all go wrong for us very very soon if we don't get uh, into that fa cup draw so uh, let's have a little look at the team that we are going to put out there today against uh, Alfreton. We've got Bobby Jones starting between the sticks. Uh, we've then got Joe Thomas, Harrison Burke, Sam Sanders and Andre Brooks in defence. Fuster, Kenyon and Glendon in the middle of the park. And Hickinson starting behind Kelsey Mooney and Orsi Dodomo up top. Right, let's get into the action. We're going to start off attacking. We're going to try and uh, take the game to... Um, to the the opposition, Alfred and Town, of course, are a team that have you know been at this level, uh, you know, a long, long while. Um, they know what this level is all about, and uh, they'll be looking to, to get their season off to a good start as well. But we're at home; we've got the fans behind us, and fingers crossed with our new signings, we can stick the ball in the back of the net multiple times today. And we can start as we mean to go on this season, I think it's fair to say. So let's go out there and let's go and see what we're made of. This time last season, we had an awful first couple of matches with Kidderminster. So I'm really hoping that that's not the case this year. I think we have signed well this this season, um, but I did go into last season very positive as well. But uh, here's Glendon, gets it to Andre Brooks, heavy touch straight away, but still pushing forward. Decent run this from Brooks and still going down that left-hand side. Gets it back to Glendon now. Glendon forward to Billy Fuster, who puts us 1-0 up and Fuster gets his first goal of the season that was a terrific move and all brought about from one of our new signings Andre Brooks there what a run he had down that left hand side then uh, he got it back in towards Glendon the club captain who threaded through Fuster beautifully and what a finish at the end of it and it is 1-0 Chester within the first two minutes of the new season and that is exactly what we want to see in it that was brilliant come on that is what we want. Now then, uh, South Shields also 1-0 up. They've gone 1-0 uh, up against... Um, I couldn't see who it was. Was it, was it Telford, perhaps? Uh, Hickinson boots it forward. Uh, here's Orsi on the ball now. Orsi Adomo. Orsi Adomo. Good save. Very good save from Willis there. Um, still 1-0 to Chester, though. But nice to see that way. We're off to a very, very passionate start here. Glendon gets it to Orsi. Orsi, that's forward to Kelsey Mooney. Oh, what are you doing, son? What are you doing? Crikey. Right. Come on, then. Come on, then, boys. Well, it wasn't Telford Shields were playing. Was it Nuneaton Borough, maybe? Perhaps it was. Right. Uh, coming up to half time now. We've certainly. Had a, a good amount of the ball so far as well, which is nice to see. Playing that possession-based football again and keeping hold of it and getting the, the passes completed as well. Good ball over the top. Here's Orsi on the ball. That's going to be a pen -o, Jeff. Brilliant. That is what we want to see. And it's Kellen Hickinson that is going to step up with the pen -o, Jeff. And hopefully... He is going to get his first goal of the season. He was brilliant last year. He steps up and that is an OK penalty. He wasn't brilliant, but straight down the middle. And the keeper went the wrong way. And it is 2-0 just before half time. And uh, Kellen Hickinson gets off the mark. And, well, the keeper will be disappointed with that. That was a poor penalty. But uh, we are doing brilliantly. We're going to put our hands on the hips. We're going to do the Macarena. And we're going to say, well done on control and possession so far. That is what we want to tell the boys. That's what they want to hear. We want to go out there in the second half. Let's get a third and a fourth. That's what I'm thinking. Look at all those green performances. That, that's what you want to see. Here's Glendon with the free kick. He whips it in towards the box. It's away by uh, Hobson. Here's March. But a good tackle by Harrison Burke. And Burke gets it forward towards Fuster. 
Fuster on the ball, whips it in. Oh, well, Willis grabs it, but that should have really been a 2 0, a 3 0 there, or at least a, a shot on target. Didn't happen. Here's Brooks, gets it to Thomas now. Thomas on the ball, he boots it forward towards Kelsey Mooney, who nods it on. Here's Orsi, first time effort. Oh, ho, ho, I thought that was going to be 3 0. That was a lovely little move as well, and Kelsey Mooney nodding it on. This is looking good. 65 minutes gone. Uh, let's see what we can do. Um, Horatio is one of our youth products. I would like to bring him on. Um, why don't we bring him on for Alex Kenyon and we'll move uh, Glendon into the middle of the park as a ball winner. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, we're going to bring Lee Angle on as well for uh, Kelsey Mooney. Um, Lee Angle will hopefully... Continue his good form from last season. Nine goals and 18 appearances last year. Oh, fingers crossed. That's uh, that's where we're going with this. Uh, Sanders is going to come off. We'll put Davy Aggie on there. And hopefully we'll manage to see this out. It's certainly looking that way. And there it is. Full time. Three points in the bag. Nobody can take that away from us. And uh, what a fabulous victory that is. And what a performance. You know, Alfredton did not look like a team that could compete with us there. Uh, where did they finish last season? Oh, they got... Ah, right. So they won the, the league two years ago and were relegated last season. Very interesting. So that's an excellent result for us. Uh, Nathan Lowe and Reese Greenidge are going to come and join us on trial. Um, Glendon's pretty good. Let's put our arm around him. I think you've got to say we played very well. How did Shields get on? They got on uh, and won 2 0 in their match. Cracking stuff. Let's uh, watch the goals. Format journeyman alumni, of course. South Shields, uh, FM19. Uh, and well, what a start at the first cloud arena. Brilliant free kick. Look at the Shields fans. They are loving it. And that was a penal, Jeff. Uh, and Whelan stepped up and got there in the end. I don't think it's Glenn Whelan, is it? Surely not. No, Corey Whelan. I uh, thought it looked like a G for a second there. Right, uh, positive start of the season. Let's go and back it up against Boston. Okay then, a couple of changes for this match. We've brought in Davey Aggie and TJ Bramble for the, the quite tired Joe Thomas and uh, Harrison Burke. Hopefully it won't make too much difference. Um, other than that, we're, we're all, all good um, there. Uh, we have made a, a, an offer to sign Nathan Law. Of course, we had him at Kidderminster, a former South Shields player as well, which uh, obviously gives him great affection for me. Um, I had a brilliant season when we were his manager a couple of years ago. I think he would add a, a decent amount of depth to our midfield, so uh, I'm hoping to sign him. Uh, Reese Greenidge, not entirely sure. Um, you know, he would come in as our sort of fifth best centre back really um you know do we really need another centre back would be my would be my point uh still want to get this guy dj campton storage uh just can't quite get a, a deal in place for him at the moment but uh we are hoping for that you know he is he is going to be good at this level if we can get him in so Fingers crossed we can sort that out in the uh, in the coming days and uh, before the next episode, which I think will be uh, against our big rivals, Kidderminster, because that's coming up in a couple of matches' time. Um, so let's put our hands in our pockets and say I want you to pick up from where we left off last time. We're going to go to our midfielders. I have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. So let's go and do that. Let's go and make a... A good match against uh, Boston. They are playing a very defensive formation. So basically six at the back. Um, that is that is very defensive from, from Boston. Uh, where are Boston? Did they win their first match? Uh, no, they didn't. It looks like it was a 12-12 split in terms of wins and losses there, which is pretty crazy. That, that doesn't often happen, does it? So... Yeah, very interesting. Here's uh, Glendon with the free kick. He boots it forward towards Sanders with the header who loops it over. Sam Sanders gets the goal. That was brilliant. A header 
looping over the goalkeeper and it is 1-0 already here. We're going to go back to balance because we should have started on balance but Glendon forward, lovely header from Sanders and that looped over the keeper and it is 1-0 to the Chester and that is what we want to see. What a brilliant start. It looks like uh, Kellen Hickinson has picked up a knock so might be seeing Horatio a little bit earlier on in this match and he has got a, a, a minor injury which ain't great because he is a very important player for us. But here's uh, Brooks on this left-hand side. Brooks gets it to Glendon now. Glendon forward to Orsi. Can Orsi whip it into the middle? No, Orsi goes alone. And he gets the goal into the back of the net. And it's 2-0. That is what we are talking about. What a start to this match. I'm going to take Hickinson off because uh, I'm very worried about him getting a serious injury. I tell you what, George Glendon has started this season terrifically. What a ball that was to find uh, Orsi up top. And there you go, top of the league. That is what we're talking about. Uh, ball into the middle. Ball into the middle again. Glendon gets it away. He has Horatio now. Horatio gets it away. He has Boniface. Gets it forward. Glendon with the header. Bramble with the header. And now he has Horatio. And, and hopefully he's going to push on. Look at him. He's the, the little midget there, isn't he? Uh, he has few step. Gets it forward. What a brilliant uh, ball. That is Aussie. Ho! Oh, just wide. Unlucky. Unlucky. Here's Sanders. Gets it forward. No. Uh, Kenyon. Kenyon on the ball. Glendon. Glendon gets it forward to Kelsey Mooney. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. Wow. Oh, dear. Kelsey Mooney. <laughs> he scored 22 goals last season. Oh, what a goal that is by Alex Winter, by the way. Uh, that brings Boston back into the match. Wow. 2-1. 2-1. It was a brilliant shot, wasn't it? Crashed off the crossbar and down. Whew. What a match this has been so far. 2 1. Oh, and let's not concede another one here. Oh, here's Boniface. Into the middle. Oh, it's away by Davy Aggie. Glendon gets it away. Oh, a missed header. Neil. Oh, hits the top of the net. That was very, very close, wasn't it? And Boston, all of a sudden, have all the momentum. That is for sure. But we are 2-1 up at half-time, and we are controlling possession, which is what you want to see. Uh, Kelsey Mooney, not the best start to his Chester career. Absolutely skying it with his two incredible clear-cut chances. But I'm hoping that we will see better from him very, very soon. Here's Pierce. He boots it forward towards Davy Aggie. Fuster now to Bramble on the right-hand side. He's had a good uh, game so far. Here's Fuster. Back to Davy Aggie. Davy Aggie boots it forward. Oh, Neil. That's forward towards Green. Oh, it's two all. And that was very poor defensive work. Oh, and Boston are back in it. Right, let's go attacking then. Let's try and take the game to them again. Because uh, we are struggling now. So Kelsey Mooney's going to come off. We're going to put Lee Angle up top. Hopefully he can do a good job in this final 32 minutes. Horatio not having the best games. I want to say how tall he is. Five foot three, so he is small. I don't feel so bad for what I said. Uh, maybe shouldn't have used the word midget, but um, yeah, he's a very small person. It's because he's young. He's he's about 15 years old, I think, Horatio. Uh, well, he's, he's not long turned 16, so he is a, a very, very young player. Um, but yeah. So apologies if uh, I offended anybody using that word. I shouldn't have used it. Um, but yeah, he is a very, very small player. Five foot three. Um, but I, I believe players do grow in football manager if they're young. So I'm interested to see how tall he does end up. Um, that's a beautiful switch of the play. And here's Ferguson. He whips it over to uh, Lisby. And uh, Boston are definitely looking good. That was a poor shot, though, in the end. Not great. Now then, Sanders looking pretty tired. 
but is having a good game. I'm looking at potentially bringing Fuster off and put... Um, well, I don't want to put Harrison Burke there. Um, we could put Andre Brooks there and put Jordan Halliwell on that left-hand side. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's see if Brooks can do anything from the midfield. That is apparently his preferred position, so intrigued to see what he could produce from there. It'd be lovely if we could go and grab a winner in this match and get six out of six here. Don't want to lose, obviously. You know, Sanders gets it to Glendon now. Glendon forward to Orsi. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. And here's Helliwell. Helliwell still on the ball. Cuts inside. And, uh, well, would that have went in had that been Andre Brooks? Who knows? But uh, it looks like we're going to get a one all draw here unless there's going to be a late chance here for Helliwell. He gets it in. Orsi's there. Hits the post. Orsi's still there. Oh, how has that not gone in? Wow, wow, wow. That should have been 3-2. Here's Glendon. Can we get it in? David Aggie. Look at him. He is there in the middle. Six foot seven or whatever he is. And there he is with a... We could have had a, a header, but it's full time. It's two all. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Um, we didn't get the result we wanted, but we should be happy. I mean, we were two nil up and it, was, it had shades of our very first match in charge of Chester, which I believe was against Boston as well. We were three one up in that match and drew it uh, three all. But uh, we will definitely take four points out of six today. Our new signings look pretty damn good. Uh, he's got a tight thigh, so he's probably not going to make the next match. Um, Orsi had an awesome game. I'm looking forward to seeing him going forward. But, uh, yeah, let's have a little look ahead. Um, I mean, we've got to come back for Kidderminster, haven't we? So... I'll go ahead, I'll play the Brain Tree match. We'll be back for Kidderminster and Oldham next time out. Um, and then we'll probably play a, a little bit um, up until the, the FA Cup second qualifying round. We'll see if we can get through those. But uh, yeah, how did South Shields get on in their two matches? So they beat Nuneaton Borough 2-0 um, and then lost to Spennymoor. I mean, Spennymoor are, are a good side, so that's not that surprising. Uh, Harvey Fletcher, decent player, on loan from Fleetwood. Um, has Glenn Taylor scored any goals yet? Yes, he has. He is an, an absolute beast, isn't he? I'm gutted I can't get him uh, yet. Um, is Dan Maguire still playing? Dan Maguire was always a beast at this level. Uh, doesn't look like it. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is going to be that for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more FM23 videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.